Hey astronomy fans! Ever wonder why astronomers are so interested in hydrogen? It helps them understand everything from stars to galaxies to the universe. I'm Summer Ash with the National Radio Astronomy Observatory, and this is The Baseline. Hydrogen is the most common element in the universe. So common that it makes up about 74% of the atoms in our galaxy. That means wherever you find matter, there's bound to be a lot of hydrogen. Sometimes, hydrogen emits a specific frequency of radio light. It isn't very bright, but because there is so much hydrogen, astronomers can use this glow to study the shapes and sizes of galaxies. For example, mapping the hydrogen in our own galaxy is how astronomers figured out that the Milky Way is a spiral galaxy about 100,000 light years across. This hydrogen light also lets us measure the mass of our galaxy. By studying the motion of hydrogen in the Milky Way, we know our galaxy has much more mass than what we can see as stars, dust, and gas. We estimate about 90% of the Milky Way must be made up of dark matter. Astronomers can study other galaxies using hydrogen too, even distant ones. ALMA recently observed a pair of galaxies roughly 12 billion light years away, backlit by a pair of even more distant quasars. And it turns out these early spiral galaxies are surrounded by massive halos of hydrogen at a time when the universe was only 8% of its current age. Hydrogen is so abundant in our universe because it formed in the hot, dense period of time after the Big Bang. The first light of the universe was created by that primordial hydrogen. As the universe expanded and cooled, that first light became the cosmic microwave background, the faint radio glow that astronomers see everywhere they look. Thus, hydrogen tells us the story of the universe, from its earliest moments to the stars and galaxies that we can see today. We can see it everywhere, and that's why astronomers find it so fascinating. 